Hello. For this video, I will I will be solving a problem sent to me by Sir Reagan Junisho, and was sent to me as a challenge to provide a solution as simple as possible. This problem was originally posted to some other group, not sure which group that is. Anyway, for this video, I will be presenting three solutions, and can you judge kung alin yung pinakamadali for you? So let's let's start. For the first solution. I'll do factoring by grouping, which is a pretty common technique uh, sa pag-factor. Since given ako ng 6 terms dito, what I would like to do is to split them into 2. Actually, just to isolate these first 3 uh, terms first. Kasi, these terms can already be factored out. And hope I'm hoping na I'd come up with something na maganda from it. So, if I factor this out, I get, since it's 2x squared and then my minus y squared, I get 2x times x. Then, the last term is y. The question, the question lang is, kung nasaan yung plus and minus y. Since the middle term should be positive x, y, I want the positive term here. So that when I multiply it with 2, I get the bigger term na positive. And then, this becomes negative y. Check natin. Pag expand natin yan, that's 2x squared minus xy plus 2xy minus y squared. And yun yung lalabas. Therefore, that first term there, or first set of terms is factorable this way. So, ang tira na lang is yung last three terms. If you notice, itong 13x minus y is closely related sa 2x minus y. In that, when I multiply this by 7, 7 times 2x minus y, I get 14x minus 7y, which is, which is just 1x away from this and 1y away from this. So if I rewrite this uh, second uh, set here, I get 13x minus 8y is equal to 14x minus 7y minus x minus y gets para to 14 minus x 14x minus x is 13x tapos itong negative 7y minus y is negative 8y so then this becomes 7 times 2x minus y then this is negative x plus y so now yung big term natin here is reduced to 2x minus y plus times x plus y plus 7 times 2x minus y minus x plus y minus 7. Next, we factor out by grouping again. Kasi common yung 2x minus y sa kanilang dalawa. I'll factor it out. 2x minus y. Then x plus y plus 7. Minus x plus y minus 7. Then ito, tinan nyo to. Itong x plus y plus 7 na to is kamukha nitong term na to. In fact, if I factor out the negative 1 from here, I get negative x plus y plus 7, which is common sa kanilang dalawa. So, I can factor out that again. So, I get x plus y plus z, eh, plus z, plus, uh, plus 7 times 2x minus y minus 1. Kasi, this when divided by this term is just negative 1. So, this is the answer. So, uh, maganda ba tong method na to? Yes. Basta mahanap mo yung tamang set ng factor mo from the start. Ang problem kasi sa method na to is kapag namali ka na lang direction, baka wala ka lang patunguhan. Halimbawa ito, itong part na to kasi, nagkataon lang na maganda yung lumabas after natin i-factor tong set na to. Sometimes, it happens na yung remaining terms is hindi maganda. So, nangyari is kailangan mo pa siyang ulitin yung solution mo. So, while ito mabilis, minsan, uh, magulo. So, I present as solution number 2. Baka makapulot kayo ng iba pang idea. So, for the next, for this solution, my idea is to turn this into a quadratic equation in terms of y. So, ang goal ko is isolve this equation in terms of y. So, for example, if I have the equation y squared minus 3y plus 2 equals 0, we know that the solution for this is 1 and 2. 
you can solve that using quadratic formula. So since solution is 1, 1 and 2, I can factor this out as y minus 1 and y minus 2. So hindi ako nag-isip paano ko siya i-factor, ang inisip ko lang is paano ko to i-solve, which is doable agad-agad kapag nag-quadratic formula tayo. So, ang gawin natin, gawin natin sa, sa expression na to is, i-treat natin siya as if it's an equation, it's a quadratic equation in terms of a variable. And that variable I want is to, is y. I want it to y kasi, wala lang. Hindi, kasi, kasi mas maliit yung coefficient niya kaysa dun sa x. Kasi this is 2, this is just negative 1. So, I'll, I'll favor that over the other. So, I'll have this equation, I this expression equated to 0. So, the solution is doable by using the quadratic formula. So, i rearrange lang natin. This negative y squared plus lahat ng may y, y, y. So, that's x minus 8 times y. Then, the constants, which are independent by uh, independent from y, ito, ito, tsaka ito. So, 2x squared plus 13x minus 7 equals 0. So, using the quadratic formula, y is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where this a, b, c. Ang solution natin is negative b x minus 8 plus minus square root of b squared x minus 8 squared minus 4 times 2x squared so this becomes 4 times negative 1 kasi 4ac so this becomes positive plus 13x minus 7 over 2 times negative 1 so this is distributed negative negative x plus 8 plus minus using the square of a binomial a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So this becomes x squared minus 16x plus 64. Then distribute the 4 plus 8x squared plus 52x minus 28 over negative 2. So simplify lang lang ito nasa loob kasi masyado siyang magulo. Plus minus square root of 8 cha 1, 9x squared, 52 cha 16 plus 36x. 64 minus 28, that's 36 over negative 2. Note that this one, if I factor out the 9, I get x squared. 9 times x squared plus 4x plus 4. But for x, but, but this term here is a quadratic, a perfect uh, quadratic trinomial. So this is factorable as x plus 2 squared, which is parang ito lang. So itong buong term na to, I can factor out as 3 times x plus 2 quantity squared. So if I get the square root of that, I just get this uh, term inside. So in other words, this is equal to negative x plus 8 plus minus 3x, 3 times x plus 2 over negative 2. Now if this is plus, negative x plus 8 plus 3x plus 6 over negative 2, this becomes negative x plus 3x, that's 2x, plus 14 over negative 2, I get negative x minus 7. On the other hand, if I make this minus, this negative x plus 8 minus 3x minus 6 over negative 2 is equal to negative 4x plus 2 over negative 2, which is 2x minus 1. Therefore, the expression natin is Factorable as y minus negative x minus 7 times y minus 2x minus 1. I'll just simplify this. Distribute the negative. It's y plus x plus 7. y plus 2x plus 1. Wait, may mali. Ano yung mali? May mali tayo kasi yung nakuha natin factor kanina ay uh, kakaiba. Wait lang ah. Negative x minus 3x minus 2. This is negative 4x plus 2. 2x minus 1. Then 
this negative x minus 7. So, yung problema natin ay, hindi ko makita yung problema natin. Ano problema natin? Kasi yung, isang, yung sagot natin kanina is, x plus y plus 7, ito na yon pero itong kabila, 2x minus y minus 1. So, may mali tayong sign somewhere. And yun ay, hindi ko mahanap. Bakit ganun? So, negative x plus 8, minus 3x ah ito pala kasi dapat kasi negative 2 negative times 2x so yan so ito na almost yung sagot natin except that when you multiply the y you see this is y, y squared positive multiply the x negative 2x squared pero ang gusto natin is negative yung y squared, tapos positive yung, yung x squared. So, kailangan lang natin gawin is negative natin itong buong term. Yun yung sagot. Nangyayari ito kasi, ginawa natin siyang equal to 0, yung expression, and yung expression kasi, halimbawa, y minus 1, tsaka y minus 2 equal 0. Kapag multiply na siya both sides by negative 1, parehas pa rin yung lalabas sa sagot. So, kapag ginamit yung method na to make sure na i-check nyo pa rin yung sagot kung nag-fit siya dun sa original na gusto nyo mangyari. So, that's it for the second solution. So, ito medyo mahaba yung solution. Pero, this always works. So, ito hindi, hindi mo na kailangan mag-isip. Kailangan mo lang i-execute yung mechanical part, which is the quadratic formula. So, yun. So, for the third uh, solution, ito medyo trial and error to. And medyo based to sa experience. Ito, uh, if you notice, you have an expression that consists of x squared, y squared, tapos product na x and y, and then mayroon kang x and may, may y, tapos may constant. Kapag ka ganyan yung nakuha yung expression, it can be expressed as a product of two trinomials, which is in terms of x, y, and a constant. So, ito, itong first term is 2x squared, so if pwede natin siyang i-factor as 2x times x. Sure na tayo dyan, kasi there's no other way to go about it. And then, yung last term is negative, uh, negative 7. So, ang tanging factors ng negative 7 is 7 times negative 1, or negative 7 times 1. So, ang tanong ko is, alin dun yung factors na gagamitin natin? To, to note, to check that, kailan natin tinan yung given. Yung uh, given natin sa x, na coefficient ay 13. So, ang gusto natin, positive yung maging coefficient ni x. So, ang gagawin natin, imumultiply natin itong, itong 2x ito by 7 para maging 14x. Tapos, yung last term itong kabila, negative 1. So, pag dinistribute natin siya, disregarding the y's first, negative x, 14x. So, you get negative, uh, positive 13x. So, ang tira na lang natin is yung nasa middle term. So, that's positive, that's negative y squared dapat yung product. So, again, yung question naman is, alin, alin dun mangyayari? Dito ba yung plus y? Dito yung minus y? Or dito yung minus y? Dito yung plus y? To check that, pwede nyo ulit i-disregard muna naman tong si x. If I choose this one to be y, this one to be negative y, y times 7, that's positive 7, then this becomes positive 1. So, that becomes positive 8, positive 8y, pero negative y yung, negative 8y yung coefficient niya, so mali yun. So, dapat baliktad. So, dapat yung coefficient nito is negative y, dito yung positive y. So, maging 2x plus uh, minus y, minus 1 times x plus y plus 7. Yun. So, try natin siya i-distribute, makukuha nyo yun. So, maganda ba tong method na to? Mm, oo. For this example, very oo. Ang problem, ang problem natin sa method na to is, kapag maraming combinations ni x and y na pwedeng magamit. Kasi ito kasi nangyari na 2x lang to at saka x. Ito, negative y my, at saka positive y. Ito, negative 7 at saka uh, positive 1 or the other way around. Kapag mas marami yung combinations niyan, mas, ma mas, mas magulo ata itong, itong method na to. And baka mas matagalan pa kayo dahil gamitin nyo yung methods 1 and 2. Okay? 
So, I hope you learned something from this video. And as an exercise, I want you to solve this. I want you to factor out this expression. 6x squared minus 13xy plus 17x plus 6y squared minus 18y plus 12. If you are able to factor this, let me know in the comment section below. And that's it for this video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.